So there seems to be a lot going on right now when it comes to Leah Michelle from Glee. She is being exposed left, right and centre and being dragged all over Twitter for her past heinous actions and her utmost hypocrisy from, you know, her recent solidarity kind of post and this is a very interesting video like this information is crazy hey guys it's Murad Morali hope you guys are doing well today if you haven't already click that button for daily and consistent content head over to my Instagram subscribe to the channel and let's get into this quick fire video well not even quick let's take our time for this one because this is actually very interesting and very important but basically Leah Michelle's castmates on the set of Glee have you know called her out for saying you know here you are posting solidarity for Black Lives Matter and what is going on in the US and you know showing your support but when it came to working on the show with you you literally said to me you know I would want to shit in your wig and these crazy intense micro micro aggressions and the gag is other cast members other you know people that were acting on that show are now co-signing everything this other actress has said and it really is turning into an up utmost frenzy let's just say and i'm completely here for it because a lot of people's hypocrisy are really it's really you know showing a lot of hypocrisy but Liam michelle has been accused of bullying co-star samantha ware and making her first television gig a living hell Michelle, who played lead role Rachel Berry in all six seasons of Glee, tweeted in support of the Black Lives Matter movement, writing, George Floyd did not deserve this, this was not an isolated incident and it must end. Co-star Samantha Ware, who played student singer Jane Hayward in the sixth season of Glee, seemingly found the sentiment of allyship to be very ironic, alleging that Michael's treatment of her onset was full of traumatic microaggressions. In a Twitter post, she wrote about Michelle's tweet, saying, LMIO, remember when you made my first television gig a living hell? Because I'll never forget. I believe you told everyone that if you had the opportunity you would shit in my wig wow amongst other traumatic microaggressions that made me question a career in hollywood questioning you're questioning your own value as a human being as a person because of your own co-star who is treating you like absolute crap this is just disgusting it seems that Ware wasn't the only actor who alleged experienced hostility from the show lead black lightning actor Davia Snell, who appeared in the 2014 um, episode of Glee, tweeted on Monday, wouldn't um, let me sit at the table with the other cast members because I don't belong there. He then added a very direct F you, Leah. So, wow, people are coming out. It all takes just one person, to be honest with you. Um, then we have Josh, who played a student at rival school Dalton Academy in one of the episodes of Glee, who responded directly to Ware's allegation, saying, I remember when she yelled out at you when she was doing a scene with Chris, who played Kurt. You legit did, you legit did not do anything her apology to you even seemed fake i'm sorry i had to deal with that you don't deserve that kind of treatment then we have alex neil who's co-signing this an actor on the show who said um get a jade and then we also have um Amber Patrice Riley, who played the main cast member Mercedes, also shared a series of gifts seemingly in support of Ware's original allegation, the most notable of which she is sipping some tea. Finally, Riley posted another gif of her saying, let's move on, with a series of hashtags supporting the Black Lives Matter. So, you know, if you're having your co-stars basically co-sign this, they just, you know, you're, they're basically witness accounts, let's just say, that they saw all of this going on and that she is being really just drawn out for her behavior and how awful she's being in hypocrisy you know even si even um yeah. naya rivera said sorry not sorry she wrote of her experience with michelle as satana, as satana moved on from a background character to one with bigger plot lines and more screen time i think rachel i mean leah didn't like sharing the spotlight if i'd complained about anything or she'd assumed that i was bitching about her soon she started to ignore me and eventually got to the point where she didn't say a word to me for all of season six so there was obviously some tension between Naira um, and Leah and Leah Michelle and that was ages ago so it seems that obviously this particular person um, Samantha is not the only one like there is plenty of people who are calling her out and this is what it is you've been so quiet for so long as an influencer as a celebrity as an actor as an actress but then suddenly you're posting so long afterwards after so much has happened in this week and a half why are you doing that why is it taking you so long and then you obviously have the hypocrisy of everything that has taken place so yeah that's crazy man i'm so sorry i'm i'm trying to deep everything that she's that this girl has said let's read this out again because this is just 
Elamai, I remember when you made my first television gig a living hell, because I'll never forget. I believe you told everyone that if you had the opportunity, you would shit in my wig, amongst other traumatic microaggressions that made me question a career in Hollywood. The microaggressions were so deep that it made that person question a career in Hollywood. Like, beyond ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Like, everybody is drawing her out. She's trending everywhere. And we'll see if she has any kind of rebuttal for what is going on. But let me know what your thoughts are. Subscribe to the channel. And I'll catch you guys soon for another video.